And side note, I sell $5 accessories. So if you like the earring, the necklace has already been sold out, but I do have one more of this earring left. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Okay, so yes, if you like any of the pieces that you see on my channel, just go ahead and it's on my website, getglamorizedbynika.com and it'll also be in the description, okay? Listen, I am tired like a monkey. I just came from the gym. It is Monday the 15th. Yesterday was an eat day. Today is a no eat day. And I have been doing super, super good. Last week, I closed out good. And, sat and Saturday was a no eat day. And I didn't eat anything. I did have my coffee. Um, I did my apple cider vinegar. That was straight. That was cool. And today, I was also able to not eat. <laughs> If you didn't see last week's video, go ahead and check it out because I had a tough time week two. Week two was tough, but go ahead and check out that video. I came from the gym and I'm going to take my apple cider vinegar. I usually do it in the morning before I, I drink my coffee and then I do it at night. Most of the time, I only do it all in the day. I have my contacts in, so if my eyes are looking a little red, it's because of that. I don't want to take it out because I want to go ahead and um, wash my face. And I want to do this video before I do all of that. So I'm going to fill it up to the 15 milli milli milliliter mark. Because when I googled it, that equals one tablespoon. So now I have some waters that I opened. I'm gonna go ahead and empty, empty that out. Cause I have coffee and I use these waters for my coffee. I do have alkaline water that I usually use. That's why. So I have two different kinds of water. Call me bougie. <laughs> but I prefer the alkaline water throughout the day. So I have this cup right here and I'm gonna consume it. I have it filled up to the brim as you can see. <sighs> after doing this for three weeks, I've definitely grown accustomed to the taste. I'm back again with another video. So today's my no eat day. Yesterday was my eat day and the day before that was my no eat day. And today is Friday. I forget what the date was. <sighs> Just came home from my long day. Went to the movie, saw Fast and Furious 10. Bad movie. I like it. I don't like how it ends, but I love it. I love it. So right now I'm very tired. Extremely tired. I just washed my face. Did not moisturize it. <sighs> about to put on some cocoa butter but i say let me hop on camera so excuse the dryness we won't cut we won't cut through it i ate i ate on my no eat day yes i ate on my no eat day today and on wednesday so i only had one meal but today i had two but i still worked out so kind of I don't want to say compensate for it, but I was able to utilize it. And of course, I take my apple cider vinegar. But that movie, Fast and Furious 10, bad movie. In the islands, bad me good, but it was it was hard. I think this was this is I like this more than the other ones. Anyway. So, I'm feeling good, feeling great. So, this is week three down. I have one more week and a couple of days because I think that's how may set up. I have one more full week next week, and then the week after that, it's only two, three days left in me. So, I have that. <laughs> so, I am back. Um, today, I'm going to just do a recap of the week. So, by now, you would have seen the other videos that I have posted of my experience during this um, third week of um alternate day fasting and i could do good on sundays but i noticed that as the week progressed i 
I just give in. I just give in. And it's like, it, it will be an, like the whole day will pass and the afternoon come and I will go ahead and partake in something to eat. And I'm like, ugh. But this time, when I broke my fast and ate the one meal, I felt horrible. I don't know if it was a food. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was a food choice. I don't know if it was a food choice because after I ate the food, I was like, why did I break my fast? I, I could have gone without. My little schnigger booger wants a, a, a debut. Maya, give me a minute. I'm done recording. Okay. <laughs> and I'm also washing um, <clears throat> clothes in the back if you hear the machine going but yeah after i ate so i broke my fast when i broke my fast i had um the shrimp dip from dave and busters which tastes so good but i don't know if it's because i wasn't eating when i ate that i didn't like him i, I was like why why did i do it so that was a bummer and then i broke it early in, in the week and i don't know why what i ate i don't recall what i ate so i have one and a half weeks left so i'm gonna really 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 stick to my um strict alternate day fasting so that i could see optimal results and for me i'm i'm not trying to do the scale if the scale budge it budge but the reason why i'm not holding too heavy on the scale specifically is because i'm doing weight training and i know with weight training if you lose a pound of fat you could gain a pound of muscle so it the scale don't drop that drastically by checking your weight so often but i can say i have dropped some inches i have dropped some inches and i'm excited about that so we're gonna continue pushing on until the end and i'm gonna give you a month recap on how i feel on the whole situation and to end the video, <laughs> y'all, I got my herbal tea. I got my herbal tea. And the reason why I'm excited about it is because I am actually, the next month that's coming up, I'm going to be doing a detox for 30 days. Before I go back to the islands, for 30 days, I'm going to be doing a detox. So I have my herbal tea. I'm going to plug the um, doctor that um i got the herbs from i might put it on the screen somewhere but i'm going to plug that information in it, it was expensive but it's worth it because i want to have get all natural herbs and herbs are specifically going to target my whole system so you have two bags one for your stomach one for your body I, i'm going to break it down in there don't worry so i'm going to do that as well as a raw a raw can't even get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna get do the raw eating challenge. It, do I wanna call it a challenge? Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna not be eating cooked food for 30 days. Okay, for 30 days. The detox is 28 days, but I think I'm gonna try and push it for 30. Uh, April have 30 days in it. So we're gonna push it for 30 days in April. This is gonna be our whole April shenanigans. Okay, and we're gonna be trying different things, y'all. I'm so excited. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because we are building a community, hey? And we are going to show up and show out. Health is key. You could look good on the outside, but if you are not healthy on the inside, it makes no sense. You want health and you want longevity. And I have a daughter that I have to, I don't like to say live for, but I have to be here for. And when i got the diagnosis of being having high blood pressure after i stopped smoking because i was a heavy smoker yeah i was a heavy smoker and i stopped and when i stopped my blood pressure shot through the roof but before that when i had got my um checkup before that they say it was a little elevated but nothing to be worried about dealing with stress and that's something i have man i have <laughs> stress management is key y'all Okay, I had to manage that stress. So since I um, started to manage the stress doing different outlets, um, I got the hold of my addiction and stopped smoking. 
okay and then since i stopped smoking my body will do you know that whole detox phase when you stop smoking and your body is like oh my gosh i i then where's the nicotine okay where's the nicotine i'm like you won't gotta go through this detox phase so i've been I, it has been a year and one month since I've stopped smoking nicotine. <laughs> Black Amile. Black Amile has nicotine in it. So I stopped smoking Black Amile and I'm so excited. And I, I don't want to say I'm a heavy smoker. Because uh, I used to smoke cigarettes, weed, <laughs> and um, Black Amile. I stopped the cigarettes years ago i stopped the weed years ago and the black and mild well i stopped the weed and transitioned to the black and mild because i was like oh my gosh i got cold turkey and then i picked up the ha bad habit of doing the black and mild because before then i had done black and mild before and i just went back to it and i was like no i hated waking up and feeling like i don't have control over myself like i have to smoke and that's what was the tipping point for me to be like no i prayed about it and i said lord help me help me honestly because when it comes to addictions like that is a spirit i believe it's i strongly believe it's a spirit i know it's a spirit but um i had to break it i had to break it and i couldn't undo it myself because before years ago i was smoking before i left the islands and when i came up i stopped smoking met this dude he was a smoker i wasn't strong enough started back smoking and ever since then i haven't broke it until a year ago a year and a month ago i was able to break it and i said the next person i meet if they're a smoker no i'm not gonna change them but they're not gonna change me so that's a whole nother story for another day so here we are, clean, doing the right thing. <laughs> anyway, we went on a little tangent, but we are back. We are back from the tangent, and yeah. So now that I'm working on my health and I'm seeing some drastic changes, I'm going to continue to pursue it because health is wealth. And like I said, I want to build a community so we could rally around each other and we could help motivate because motivation is a key component and before i said that i don't really have any family member that could help me now my cousin she has picked it up and become serious we text occasionally but not as much as i would like to have that kind of support so i'm reaching out to you let's do it let's get it so go ahead and hashtag adf hashtag day fasting and let's build this community